Okay, uh, this is part two of the preface to Human Revolution. So, uh, more than 30 years ago, Dr. Toynbee sensed that our movement represented the stirrings of a new civilization. He pointed out that Japan in the 13th century, when Nichiren lived, resembled in its social con conditions the kingdom of Israel and Judah in the 8th century before the Common Era. And he also noted that the parallels between the 4th century of the Common Era, triumph of Christianity against the persecution of the Roman Emperor, Empire, and the way in which the Soka Gakkai survived the repressive measures of the Japanese militarists. He wrote, in the midst of despair and disillusionment, this little community was sure of its objective and was confident that it could and would attain it. He continued, no wonder that within the next three decades, Soka Gakkai has grown to its present stature. In his foreword for the second volume of Weatherhill's English edition of the Human Revolution, Dr. Toynbee paid particular attention to the concept of karma, relating it to the Human Revolution. Quote, this belief is a spur to strenuous spiritual endeavor and it has an important social corollary. Social improvements on any plane, political or economic, can come only through the spiritual action of individual members of society. An individual's improvement of his own karma by his own efforts is the key to the spiritual advance of mankind as a whole. I'm happy to note that from the publication of the first volume, the human revolution has been widely read throughout the world. Translations have been published in many languages from the English edition, translated and edited by Richard Gage to the Chinese, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Korean, and Dutch versions. The Soka Gakkai International USA, under its World Tribune Press imprint, has published this new abridged box set corresponding to the original 12 volumes. In preparing this edition, the editors felt that some condensation of the text was desirable, especially of passages dealing with Japanese historical and political matters. In addition, the original narrative has been edited to bring it into line with recent developments in the history of Nichiren Buddhism, with changes and deletions in the presentation of the material. I believe that such revisions will help readers, readers of the English version to better appreciate the original message of this book. I am deeply grateful to the members of the editorial department of the World Tribune Press and all the others who contributed to the production of this two-book set for the time and effort they gave to make it possible. In 1995 or 1993, I began writing the New Human Revolution, which deals with the development of the Soka Gakkai following the inauguration of the third president. In the years since then, I have produced 12 volumes, and I foresee that the entire work will constitute 30 volumes. To complete the writing will doubtless require heroic struggle with the limitations imposed by mortality. But so long as I am able, I am determined to devote myself to depicting in all its brilliance and nobility the human revolution as it advances toward the ideal of a world in which life is treasured and the very word misery has been erased. April 2nd, 2004, Daisaku Ikeda. So that's the um, preface to the uh, book, uh, the two-volume set, uh, The Human Revolution. Uh, stay tuned for the next installment.